to talk to Iris Makla in Jerusalem. Iris, um, how serious is all of this for Israel? It's serious for Israel, not in absolute terms. The numbers here remain small. They're numbers that, that other countries in Europe would be very envious of. So for the past, but it's the trends. So what we've seen is for the past three days, there's suddenly more than 100 cases. Those are numbers that Israel hasn't seen for two months. Um, and the, what that means is the other thing that everybody is very worried about is the fact that the people who are uh, now infected, something like half of them are people who've been vaccinated. They're not sick, they don't go to hospital, but they are contagious. They do pass it on and they pass it on to the youth. And I'll tell you one interesting thing that I've observed is that Israel received a great deal of criticism for how it handled the pandemic originally, a lot of praise for its vaccine rollout. Now everything seems to be going back to how it was then. The airport was an enormous source of trouble before. It's a source of trouble now. Israelis are not meant to fly to red countries, Russia, uh, India, Brazil. Yet they are. 5,000 people returned from Russia just this month. So all of that really has to be sorted and Israel is starting to get on top of it, so they say. And tell us a bit then about what steps the government is now taking. Well, it is making an effort to change things uh, at the airport. And that includes, as you said, um, it's stopping tourists who were meant to return in a few days' time. Uh, it's restarting testing. It's reconvening the coronavirus cabinet. Things that Israel had thought were behind it are uh, beginning all over again. Uh, and I think there is the, the, man, the masks is a, is a serious question. Only nine days ago, masks were no longer needed in indoors. That's now being reconsidered. And there's definitely a push on to vaccinate everybody between 12 and 15. It was optional before. But these are the majority of the people, you know, the young are the majority of the people who are now ill, are now infected. And that's why there's this push to vaccinate them as well. Iris Makler for us there in Jerusalem. Thank you uh, very much.